hey guys hey everyone how are y'all doing out there i do hope that every single one of you guys are doing great it's your girl twin d if you never know now you know thank you very much <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for being here if you're new welcome 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 my long time subscribers big up on yourself enough respect and thank you all for the support let's jump straight into your message and then see what's going on with your masculines our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right. If you're wondering why I say that prayer, it's because that's how... I protect myself and that's how I know your messages are coming from the right place. No interference, no interference, no misleading, no misguiding, one, one, one. All right, so Father God, what's going on with our divine masculines, please? What's holding them back? What's stopping them from coming forward to the divine feminines? What's going on with them, please? You have talking. So there is something that's happening here in regards to communication. You may have had some sort of miscommunication with your divine masculine. And that's kind of the reason that they are holding back. They may also want to speak to you, but that's, that's the scary part. Like, what am I going to say? How do I say things? How do I tell this person what I really wanted to say to them? So communication is a big issue here for you and these divine masculines. And that's one of the reasons here why they're not coming forward. And, and guys, um, please always remember that these readings are general. So the messages that come out, it may not be for you. It could be for somebody else. So... It may not, again, it may not be for you because I see people asking because the message is saying one thing and they're saying, okay, so I'm here. So how is it going to happen for me? But at the same time, remember, not every message is for you. If it's not your situation, you will know because just as the person said, if they are this way and they're that way, then how is it going to happen? Then you know the message is not for you. And again, God is a master of impossibilities. So you don't know what he can do to make whatever the messages are saying happen for you. All right. And the message will find the right person. So do not stress about it. If it doesn't resonate with you, it does not. And most times, guys, these messages that I get most times they are like predictions so you won't know if it's for you until it happens because i could give the message now and it doesn't happen until next week next month then you're gonna say oh my god i remember i watched this all right what is this happening with our divine masculine peace father god what's stopping them from coming forward three 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 oh jesus you have the engagement ring here so there's there are two things because I'm getting two sides of a story here. Not not a story, two different stories here. So for those of you who have this issue with your divine masculine in regards to communication, this could be because of them being in a third party romantic situation, and that what that is the reason why you had some triggers, why there was some miscommunication, why there was some arguments, confusion. You don't understand what's going on. You you don't receive proper communication from the divine masculine about your situation. So for some of for those of you in that situation, there's a completion happening with that situation. There's a completion that's happening. And that's for you to know. And for others of you, the second story, there's communication coming in. And this communication is going to come in and they are going to explain to you why things going to work out the way it did, the way it should have before. Some of them, they are coming in for this engagement, for this commitment, for union. 
And that's why in the beginning, they're like worried, hiffing and butting, like, how do I say what I need to say? How do I do this? How do I make this proposal? So right now, it's like they are planning on moving forward, but they've got to find that energy on the inside first, that courage. They got to find that courage, become that lion. I like you. Mm-hmm. So you see that wants to date. Wants to date. So this divine masculine or these divine masculine here, they want to be with you. So it seems like they're not being held back for, for, for too long. Whenever they come forward, it's like they're ready to express themselves or they're getting ready to express themselves. And this is why I'm always telling you guys, do not give up on your situation. Do not, do not focus on the situation too much that the only thing you want is the masculine. So much so that you forget to work on yourself, work on your life. Because it's when you least expect these things, they come. So when you're not focused on the divine masculine any at all, that's when they appear. Because they really like you. They really love you. They truly love you. And romance is about to bloom. So do not give up. And the chaser. Chaser. In a codependent relationship. So you see what I was saying? So there is a situation here where a divine masculine was in a, it was in a relationship and they couldn't escape it. They couldn't remove themselves. They couldn't even tell you about their actions and what they're planning and where they want to be in life. They couldn't tell you because they didn't know yet. They, they had no idea. They didn't have any plan about where or, or what they wanted to do. The only thing they know or they knew in the past was how they felt about you. I like you. I want to be with you. But there's something else in the mix. So these two stories that I just got, they're ending up the same way. So the ones who are ready to come forward, but they're holding back because they don't have the courage yet. And the ones who were in this third party relationship that they needed to tell you, but couldn't tell you about or explain the situation. They're still coming forward. But that's always the end result. They're always going to come forward. But you have to put in that work, Divine Feminine. Sorry about that, guys. But as you can see, they were in a chaser relationship. Just as much as you were chasing them, they were also chasing somebody else. Something else. And then here they are. Not being fulfilled. The relationship they were in, it wasn't fulfilling. This is, this is to show you that they do love you. Because they have this plan of being with you. But in the past, it couldn't work out. It couldn't work out because there was a, another relationship. There was another relationship. And this person, whoever I'm picking up here, they, they felt like they couldn't do anything until they get rid of this relationship for some they are already out of the situation for others they are about to step out to step away heart with a key so you see they know they've met the one guys they already know this you hold the key to their heart so they're trying to love themselves enough so that they can be that perfect person for you. Perfect person so that they can come forward to you. Ascending. Overcoming their obstacles. They're learning. Excuse me. They're growing. They're ready for this new phase. And again, prepare for union. They're preparing for union. That's what I've been saying to you. They're coming forward. They're preparing themselves. But like I said, they have to regain that strength and courage within them. But they're preparing for union. What else can you tell us about what's holding these of our masculines back, please? <laughs> Hear that car. They're going to come rushing in, divine feminines. They're going to come rushing in. 
because they know what they want. Oh my Lord. The heart. So their heart is not yet fulfilled. They are still in this little weak energy, this little fear energy that they have to remove or reverse whatever they have to do. But they just know that they have to get rid of that fear energy so that their heart can be still, so that they can experience that joy, that fulfilling energy, that longing that they've been longing for, which is love, true love. True love. Some of these of my masculines, they are definitely afraid of this happiness. Because again, when, when they met you, with their heart, like it couldn't stay still. They were so happy. And that's why they ran as well. Because it's like, what is this I'm experiencing? I've never felt this way before. Oh, maybe seeing that 939, guys. And you have the shepherd. <laughs> Intense love of life and strong fellow feeling. I told you, it's the same thing with the heart. The way they feel. They can't stop feeling that way for you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I love it. They can't stop feeling that way for you guys. So they know what they want. They know what they're feeling. But again, the only thing that's holding them back is that courage to come forward. And there's no rush here. They're going to get that strength and courage to come forward. But they're going to get it on their time. Happy marriage. Riches. Wow. So they are coming in for that union. Again, the clouds. All the barriers that they, they had to overcome. All the deception, the lies. The backstabbing, the negative relationship that they were frustrated in. They had to overcome that. Yes. Because the flames on the heart, guys. The flames on the heart. They are in love. They can't stop being in love. <laughs> and this is 38 and this is 39. So they're following each other. They, they are following each other. And again, when I split my deck, this is what's in their heart. You are in their heart. Their twin flame. And they're never going to let you go. Because the love that they feel for you. It helped them to overcome. All the barriers and struggles. That they were facing. That's why you got to keep it positive. Divine feminine. Be encouraging towards your divine masculine. Be encouraging for yourself. Because you are making a difference. Even though you don't see it. This has been your message everyone. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. Your next message may appear on the screen when it says play now. You click that button. It will take you to your next message where you can set the reminder so you don't miss it when it starts. All right. If I don't remember to put it there, it won't be there. But just watch out for your next message. Okay. Love you guys. Let go and let God. Later.